Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a movie that I watched recently. Um, it's called True Story with uh, James Franco and Jonah Hill. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the fact that Jonah Hill is in this movie. I mean, this is a serious, hardcore, big tension film, which is nothing like Jonah Hill has ever done before, at least that I know of. Um, he's been in 21st and 22nd Jump Street, which are um, full-out comedies. Uh, there are some heartfelt moments, I guess, in those movies, but Jonah Hill is pretty much known for comedies. Um, but honestly, he did such an amazing job. I saw the trailer and I thought, I thought, wow, this is really different for him. And it was, but he did an amazing job. And so did James Franco. But James Franco ha is kind of known for comedy, but he has also had some serious films. Like, um, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. So, this movie is pretty much about this guy and he's a regular Joe. Um, but one day he gets home from work and kills his entire family. Supposedly, he kills the entire family. Um, and when he's arrested, he says, Oh, I'm Mike Finkel from the New York Times. But he isn't. His real name is Christian Longo. Why would he say that he's Mike Finkel? That's the whole mystery of this movie. So, Mike Finkel is actually a journalist for the New York Times. And he gets word about that this um, Christian Lango that was arrested and used his name and he's awfully curious about why he would do that. So he meets up in jail, he goes to prison where um, Christian is being held and he talks to Christian, he asks him why would you use my name and all this sorts of thing and then it turns out that Christian he relates to Mike Finkel and he agrees to tell Mike Finkel the true story but this movie takes us on a huge, very complicated roller coaster of lies and truths and what really happened. And there's a lot of falseness and a lot of truthfulness. So this movie isn't, it's not a conventional movie, in my opinion. It's, most movies are a plot twist after another, like court cases and he's the father and she's the daughter of the mother, the mistress. But this movie is nothing like that. Um... What will shock you of this movie is what isn't really true and what is true, thus the title True Story. One of the things that I actually really love about this film is that they throw curveballs at you. It's amazing, like, they do it in such a- and honestly, James Franco does such a good job in this movie. He really- I can't say anything because then it'll be a spoiler, um, but he just does such an amazing job. and. They throw, they tell you things that you think are true, but then they end up not being true, and you want to believe it so much. But it's it's a good movie. It's not honestly. I got there and I saw the movie, and at the end I was like, was it really a good movie? I mean, it's definitely not what you expect. You expect it to be, as I mentioned before, plot twist after another. But it's not. It's actually very good, and you have to. You have to think about it. it. was definitely not a waste of my time. I would recommend the movie to anyone. And I mean, I'm usually one of those people, I've seen so many movies that I could usually predict what's going, what's going to happen mostly. And I'm mostly, I'm pretty 50-50% mm, of the time is right. But in this movie, it was just, it was honestly impossible to detect what is actually true and what is that's honestly what I love the most about this movie. It's, you don't know what, when, in what circumstance someone is lying, or if someone is really as important as they're making an emphasis to. Like you, not, you don't see anything coming. It's I love the movie. I mean, it was it was you don't everything comes at you and you're just like what, what is this? Is it true? Is it false? Is it sort of? Will anybody ever know the truth? So I definitely recommend it. Okay, so this is the time that you stop watching the video if you have not seen the movie. Because I'm going to get into some very, very deep spoilers. So if you have not seen the movie, please stop now. It's not my fault if you haven't seen or Or if you're not going to see the movie regardless and you just want to know what it's about, keep on watching.
But if you want to see the movie and you haven't, stop. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that they were making such a big emphasis on his wife. I was like, this lady, she has on Mike Finkel's wife. They're making a huge deal about her and suspenseful scenes. She's running in the woods. And I'm like, what is going on here? I honestly, I thought that maybe she had something to do with um, Christian Lago. Maybe they had an affair before, but she's completely superfluous. She does not really play any purpose in the movie. She's only there as a curveball, like I said before, to make us think that somehow she's involved in this, but she really isn't. And I really like that. Another thing is all the BS that James Franco tells Jonah Hill or Christian Longo tells Mike Finkel. Like, it's honestly what I thought is that he was really innocent. And that's why I had said before you get on the video that James Franco does such a good job because I could usually see through BS like that, but I honestly could not. It was just professional. It was professional BSing, like nothing. I nothing I've ever seen before. I thought he was really heart crushed man that had tried to work hard in life and provide for his kids and that he loved them so much. But life is not all butterflies and rainbows and unicorns, you know? I was kind of sad at the end when they said that he actually had killed them and confessed because James Franco did such a good job at manipulating. Like, by the time the movie ended, I realized that Christian Longo was playing chess while everybody else was playing checkers. It was just... He literally... Everything that Jonah Hill gave him, he manipulated it into making himself look less guilty which was epic failure but i honestly thought that he was legit that he was sincere and he was actually trying to protect someone i mean if this was a your average movie they would have been he had a secret brother twin that he had to protect and whatever but it wasn't and that's what i really liked about the movie everything it was just is it true is it false um when he says that whole thing about his wife, originally from the beginning of the movie, I'm like, he's protecting his wife. That's who he's protecting because his wife killed the kids. She killed her so that she wouldn't go to jail or, you know, her reputation wouldn't be... By the way, guys, don't mind my poster here. My Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle poster. I love them. Okay, so randomness aside, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my ADHD. I thought that he did that, that he was protecting his wife or he was actually protecting someone but it just turned out that he's a really big liar and is like um, Mike Finkel's wife says, narcissistic man that needs all the attention on him. By the way everyone, this is an actual true story, like not just the title isn't just true story, it was an actual true story, it was actually Mike Finkel and uh, Chris Longo. So if you want to research about that, good job, do it. I did, and it really enlightened me to how good of a manipulator this man was. And honestly, he was just, he was evil. Like, like, evil. Like, I don't know, Joker, evil, that evil. Okay guys, so this is the end of the movie review. I hope you guys liked it and that it helped you figure out whether you're willing to spend anywhere from 6 to $13 on this movie ticket. See you next Wednesday. Have a nice one.